It's happening, okay? I'm gonna read you a take, okay? I wrote this take, okay? It's simple. Very, very simple, okay? And I'm gonna end it with something very special. Okay, here we go. Listen up. Time is our most valuable resource, and to waste it means failure in the struggle against the desolation of everything living in the world. There are an infinite amount of actions that we can choose to spend our finite time on, and unfortunately, the internet is often able to goad us into not only wasting our own time, but into wasting others as well. Most internet conflicts are completely and utterly useless. Uh, they only produce emotional desolation and internal strife. A very select few people are able to monetize conflicts like this on the internet for their own personal gain. Uh, think of somebody like Keemstar, somebody who is uh, has such a platform and has been around for so long that uh, they can literally make money off of any conflict that happens on the internet so long as there is conflict. Um, but it's very self-enriching. No one else benefits from that, and in fact, most of the people involved will suffer. Um, there are obviously conflicts online worth having, okay? But I think that the way that most social media spaces operate tips the scale of these sort of of this calculation out of our favor, uh, serving us up meaningless, endless, by the way, meaningless conflict, which cannot be usefully salvaged for political or intellectual gain. The risk of mobilizing a following into a mass time-wasting event cannot and should not be ignored by anyone who takes our current plight seriously, okay? That was a little thing that I wrote. Here, let me show you. I wrote this over on my Mastodon, okay? So if you don't follow my Mastodon, occasionally I write like actual blog posts over on my Mastodon. And uh, how this ties into the current discourse that everybody is filling my chat with is that you all wasted a lot of time. All of you. Every single one of you uh, who is talking about this discourse, every single person who participated in this discourse, have wasted a lot of time. I want you all to understand that right now, uh, the right wing in America is attempting to completely dissolve the uh, democratic norms of our current society so that they can replace it with a fascist government. There is an ongoing, very active push at trans genocide right now in this country, okay? I want you to be very, very clear about the stakes. We are living in a time where we have now realized that, that climate change is going to hit us. It is going to hit us hard. People are going to be displaced. We need people with their brains in the fucking fight. And I want you to think about this discourse. No one learned anything. No one gained anything. Uh, the only thing that happens is that people made enemies of each other by saying, uh, very, very inflammatory and or totally useless things. I saw people, let me give an example of this, okay? I'm gonna give two examples, okay? I saw people claiming that the left is actively and maliciously trying to drive men away from the left, which is an absurd claim, okay? That is something that I think is totally insane, especially when I checked my creator demographics for my channel. I am a very vocal, uh, niche, trans uh, creator, and my channel demographics lean 65% male, okay? So, uh, I think the idea that the left, whatever that means, the left is like actively and maliciously trying to drive men away is not only not correct, but it is also the literal narrative that the right says. It is the narrative that the right has made up that the left is just a bunch of uh, feminazis. It is erasure, it is a race of a people. And let me give you another example of another tweet uh, or another uh, thing that I saw. And I saw a lot of this one, okay? Um, I saw a lot of people talk about this one, okay? I saw people spreading explicit false misinformation about a, po about a popular con uh, content creator. For uh, The example that I'm going to use on hand here is 
Vosh, uh, I saw people uh, en masse, lefties, who supposedly care about truth and honesty, spreading out of context clips, claiming uh, that Vosh did things that he didn't do, uh, 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 basically behaving un uh, uh, indistinguishable from a right-wing troll, spreading genuine misinformation, okay? So I saw both of these things, and I want you to understand that both of them are dead wrong. This is not me both sidesing. This is me pointing out the fact that no one is gaining anything from either one of these claims. No one is gaining anything from this conversation. I mean it. I, I actually mean it. You would be better serving your time doing anything else than participating in this discourse. Anything. Li literally anything. You could be having fun with your family. You could be petting a dog. You could be laughing at something. But instead, people are engaging in a never-ending, uh, 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 I called it, uh, I called it, <laughs> I called it a cracker Ouroboros, okay? Because that's what it feels like. It's a bunch of people eating their own tail for hours and hours on end. And guess what's even worse? It's not just content creators. It's not just Twitter posters. It's the followings of all of these people are being flung into a useless battle. A totally useless battle that only demoralizes, that only cast, that only uh, creates rifts where formerly there were not rifts. This is bad. Okay? It is bad for us to behave this way. It is bad for the online left, whatever, however broadly you want to do that, to behave like this. And I want you to understand that this is a failing. This is a failing. The online left is seen as a joke, not because of uh, bad takes, not because of, uh, of anything other than the fact that the online left can never actually connect to, uh, to real causes that we are uh, that the online left is siloed off away from the rest of the people struggling uh against uh the worst shit that you can possibly imagine there is a fascist awakening a fascist revolution that is brewing in america i mean that 100 percent i have uh, like <laughs> i hope you understand those stakes And we're wasting our time not even actually having a conversation. No one who was engaged in the current discourse was talking about the same subject. There were people talking about whether or not, there were people talking about nature versus nurture. There were people talking about whether or not the, uh, whether or not it's, it's about uh, like coddling MRAs or N cells. There were people talking about that, that the, the left is secretly full of, of feminazis, which sounds like Tucker Carlson. There was a talk about whether or not the left is like fostering misandry on a meaningful level. Um, this entire topic has been a giant waste of every single person's time and no one has learned anything. No one has gained anything. No one was recruited as a result of this. No one uh, improved their advocacy as a result of this. The only product has been people feeling bad, people getting angry at each other, and wasting time. That is it. I hope you understand that. Not only that, I want to talk about one other thing, okay? because um, I touched on this discourse very briefly at the end of my stream a couple of days ago. Uh, at the end of my, uh, at, at the end of the, uh, of the last stream that I did where we were reacting to stuff and whatever, I touched on it very briefly. And I mentioned that it had become incredibly toxic. And I want you to understand that the level of toxicity is worse than it's ever been, okay? You all, who, who here remembers the imp's code, okay? Who here fucking remembers the imp's code? Does anybody? Because I do. The imp's code, the rule number one of the imp's code, immediately stop discoursing. That, I have been hawking the imp's code for over two years. It's one of the first memes from my channel was the imp's code. And the imp's code was created because Twitter discourse gets so toxic. And this discourse is one of the most toxic I've ever seen in my entire time on Twitter. The toxicity levels were beyond control. 
and there isn't a single side that is res a single side that is responsible for this. Part of the reason is because there's no sides. No one even knows what the fuck they're talking about. Some people are trying to act as though this is about, um, some people are talking about this is about self-help. Some people are saying this is about what, how we should treat individual men. Some people are talking about where about how this is uh, actually emblematic of the left, uh, the left hating men. Some people are talking about how fascists are winning because the left won't promise men a wife and kids. And some people are talking about all of those things at once without making any distinguishment beside them. Okay, let me let me let me make a small illustration. Okay, if let's imagine that somebody did you wrong. Okay, somebody did you wrong, and so you wanted to get back at them. You wanted to uh, you wanted to reply. They were doing you wrong. They were saying something wrong about you, and so you decided to throw a punch. Okay, they're saying, they're accusing you of a crime, they're saying some way across the line shit, and you decide to throw a punch. And you throw that punch, and you actually are, you, you throw that punch and you hit somebody else. Somebody else who you perceive to be associated with the first person, because the first person isn't there for you to actually throw a punch at. That right there, that punching somebody else who you think is associated with somebody else, which you think is associated with a certain position, is all that I have been seeing going on on Twitter. It is depressing. Not only, no, it, it's not depressing. It's fucking insulting. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. And I don't mean to be a bit of a fucking scold about it. I don't mean to fucking scold you all about this, but we have fucking bigger stakes than this right now. We have bigger bigger stakes than trying to relitigate uh, uh, ancient uh, false narratives about whether or not the left is made up of man-hating feminazis or, uh, or, or, or spending our time propagating misinformation about public figures that we don't feel strongly about. Do you think that anybody cared all of you, I know that every single person here, because I could see how chat was reacting. I could see how every single person here has been touched by this discourse in one way or another. And it has flooded well beyond Twitter. This isn't just a Twitter thing, although Twitter is certainly where a lot of it unfolded. This is spread to the discords. I have seen it all over my discord. I have seen it all over other people's discords. Okay? I have seen it everywhere. Do you think anybody else besides the the most online section of the left gave a shit about that? What do you guys think that all the uh, Antifa people who are preparing counter protests to the uh, anti-drag psychos, what do you think those guys are looking at and seeing? When those people who are out on the street uh, uh, putting themselves, bet their bodies, literally, between fascists and innocent queer people. What do you think they look at and see when they see this shit? When they see a bunch of people uh, pettily swinging stupid, uh, edgy insults at each other and spreading misinformation about one another. What do you think that our enemies see? What do you think the people who are currently trying to install a Christian nationalist program for the future, a Christian nationalist program which will necessitate the deaths of every queer person that you know, what do you think they see when they look into that? And what did we gain from it? Did you gain anything? Be honest with yourself. If you're sitting there in chat right now, I've been totally ignoring chat for this entire time that have been ranting directly into the camera. I've, but, but those of you in chat, if there's people in chat who think that I'm off, off base with this, what did you gain? What did you learn? Did you recruit anybody new? Do you have a new friend? Did you get, a, did you get somebody new and interested in leftism? You wanna know what my experience was? You wanna know what my experience was? Was people who are tangentially connected to politics, who occasionally dip their toes in and check out some politics stuff, were turned off. I got messages from people who I know in real life who are saying, man, this shit is so stupid, I'm done. Like, what the fuck is wrong with lefties? Not because 
of uh, not because the left is you know secretly uh, pushing you know oh thank you so much thank you very much not because the uh, the left is secretly pushing people away from the left because they don't like men not because uh, they they didn't leave the left because they saw a video uh, an out of context video of Vosh that 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 makes him look bad. They left because they saw the left. They, they turned away from it because they saw the left and they went, wow, this is just a bunch of, of, of children throwing shit at each other and I don't want anything to do with it. Yeah, Gayfesh, I, Gayfesh says you literally saw me uninstall Twitter in front of you. Yeah. Eddie says I'm pretty much done with politics too. That's not the answer. The answer is to get fucking serious. The answer is not to turn away from politics. The answer is to refuse to engage in this stupid nonsense. I have many times on this stream talked about how, um, I have many times on this stream talked about how infighting to a certain degree comes naturally to the left, okay? The reason for this is because the left is a broad, is a broad collection of generally liberatory ideologies. The left is, to be short, the left is the only faction in the political sphere that truly values independent thought. The right does not. The right, the right is conservative. They are, they believe in old school values, traditionalism, knowing your place, always respecting your elder, your elders opinions because they are old, because they are higher than you on the hierarchy. The left is the side that fosters independent thought. That means there's always going to be infighting on the left. That is natural and it is good, but this is not good. This is not, this is not healthy. This is not liberatory. This type of shit is benefiting no one. This is people venting their stress and their trauma on each other instead of turning that against the real enemies. Instead of turning that against the ever encroaching uh, empire that is trying to choke us all. I should be clear about something. While there are indeed pockets of misandry on the left. There are uh, little Twitter accounts uh, and even some slightly larger Twitter accounts that will say things like, I hate men, you know, men are just blah, 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 whatever. Um, that is a, a remarkable, remarkable minority and it is not hard to fight back against them. Do you wanna know what is really hard to fight back against? You wanna know what's rampant on the left? You wanna know uh, what we've seen on this channel for two and a half years as I've desperately tried to ever get a chance to fucking speak on a panel? Fucking misogyny, fucking transphobia. These are things that still are all over the left, especially if you consider liberals to be part of the left. I don't really consider liberals to be strictly part of the left. I think that I consider them to be left of center but I don't consider them really personally, but I know a lot of people do. You wanna talk about how bad uh, misogyny is in leftist spaces, in liberal spaces? Do you wanna look at the creator demographics? Do you guys wanna look at viewer demographics? You know that there's a reason why there's barely any women who watch politics, right? You guys understand that there's a reason why every single major leftist YouTuber's channel demographics are uh, st strongly skewed like I'm talking like 70 to 80% of every leftist content creator's audience is male by by as objective analytics as we can possibly get. In what way is a demo being mostly men a bad thing? Are you an idiot? What I'm saying is that if there's anyone being discouraged from engaging in politics online, it is on a numerical level, women. Women are not given a voice, tra especially trans women. Women are not given a meaningful voice in politics. They are driven away from politics. They are 50% of our population, but they are 30% or less of online politics. They are still treated like shit. They are still harassed to a greater degree. That needs to be fucking taken in scope, okay? I believe very strongly that not only do not only are men welcome on the left, 
but that their issues need to be taken seriously. However, that does not mean that providing critique to uh, narratives is anti-man. It does not mean that, that pointing out obvious facts about how patriarchy op operates is anti-man. And I will not grant ground on that, especially not with the history that I've had in online left-leaning spaces. Women are treated like fucking shit online, okay? In leftist spaces too. I have personal experience with this. You guys have seen it on video. You've watched it, okay? I am not saying that there are not people on the left who are shitty about men. There absolutely fucking are. It's a type of person I personally have publicly pushed back against many, many times. I have pushed back against it in my private life when I've encountered it. But this is a small group of people and to act as though there is a, uh, that there is like some kind of pan leftist conspiracy to drive left, to drive men to the right or that the left does not uh, does not currently address men's issues in any way is fucking not true at all. It's not true, okay? Um, not only are there tons and tons of channels working their asses off to provide content um, that speaks to men, but the content that currently exists is predominantly consumed by men. Right now, currently, objectively, we have the stats for this. Stop wasting time, for the love of God. I don't mean don't play video games. I don't mean don't have fun. I don't mean don't watch, you know, fun little YouTube videos. Stop wasting time. Stop doing things that only result in your own misery and other people's misery. Stop engaging in stupid Twitter battles that are architected by people who do not have your interests at heart, okay? They, are, they don't care. The people who start these fucking stupid discourses, they're not leftists. They're not interested in the same world that you're interested in, okay? Get that. Understand that. D grok it. Digest it. Swallow it and fucking let it uh, uh, fuel you. Jesse Frendo with the $10 says, Thank you for your consistently great and thoughtful work. Excited to see your channel and audience keep growing. It's going up! Killjoy says, I call them entropic conversations. Literally speeds up the heat death of the universe. Yes, quite literally. But worse, it speeds up the uh, the proverbial heat death of, of any sort of hope uh, of, 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 of the online left assisting the real, the, 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 the offline left, okay? And when I say the offline left, uh, a lot of the offline left is in the online left, but they're just not prominent figures, okay? They're not... They are uh, members of the audience and small accounts. They are not people who generally also stream. The online left, and I say this, if you care about actually changing the world for the better, if you care about actually stopping the heinous shit that is coming our way right now, I believe it was Ohio. Am I, am I, hold on, let me double check. Let me just get this. I just want to give you a little bit of an idea of what type of shit we're up against right now. Hold on. Oklahoma. Sorry, Oklahoma. Here you go. Let me just show this to you real quick, okay? Let's just take a look. A new bill introduced in Oklahoma would make it a felony to provide gender affirming care to anyone under the age of 26. That is a bill that is actively being considered in a highly Republican controlled state. It is likely. It is likely that multiple states in the near future will pass bans on transition that are designed specifically to kill trans people before they ever have the chance to live as themselves. That, that is designed to punish trans people so that they cannot get the hormones they want, so that they cannot have the body that they want. This is a fascist biopolitics that we are engaging with. This is widespread right now. This is the flavor that they are using to lead this movement. So fucking get real. Because that's what we're going up against, okay? 
That's what we have to deal with. And if our fucking time online, if, if the online left, however broad you want to draw that, once again, whatever you want to consider the online left, if the online left wants to actually help in that fight and not uh, just be a, a, a waste, if you want to actually help stop this shit, undo this shit, make the world a better and safer and happier place, you have to get better than getting, uh, than spending your time on discourse that only brings strife, that only brings loss. I just want you to stop wasting your time. And if you are a person, this is a special call out, if you are a person who has a following, stop wasting your followers' time. Your followers are looking to you for leadership. If you wish for a better world, lead them well.